say I have so many ideas for a frozen Halloween party. That sounds like a great idea. First, you remember that year that I made the big tree in the dining room and um, painted it black, put bats in it and junk like that? You might not have been there that year. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, it was awesome and you should totally do that. And here's how you do it. Step one, go find branches. Um, conveniently, Halloween comes shortly after hurricane season around these parts. So there were some fallen branches, I don't know, in a nearby neighborhood. And I went and picked them up and brought them home and spray painted them. I spray painted them black. You should spray paint them like pale blue, right? Okay, pale blue. And then, or maybe white, if you want white, that would be fine too. Um, and then you get, um, snowflakey stuff. Um, so you can either, you can buy like fake snow, um, but there's another trick. Do you remember the ivory soap trick where you take a bar of ivory soap and you stick it in the microwave for a minute and it expands and turns into like a big cloud of soap flakes and then you can collapse them and they turn into little soap flakes, little soapy snowflakes. Little, little. Anyway, so then if you spray adhesive all over the the branches and you can just puff your, your fake soap flakes all over it. And then you also need some glitter because glitter makes things look like ice. Um, so then you take all your branches and you put them in a big, tall, sturdy vase, right? Now you have a frozen tree. There you go. That's idea number one. Hope you like it. Um, so now back to other things. It is Wednesday. I'm here on time. Hooray. Um, so you might actually get this video when you're supposed to get it. Um, I am currently at work in the parking lot. Um, Dustin is working from home today. So today I am, cause we usually ride together to work cause our offices are very close by, um, each other. And... Um, yeah, so he did not come with me, so I was bored and lonely anyway, and I was like, you know what, I'll take advantage of the opportunity to video. So, here I am. Um, I like your ideas for the wedding token, however, um, they still are basically jewelry, so I still don't know that any of them are like 100% yes. Still thinking about it. Um, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep noodling. Um, what else? Hmm. Um, wedding ideas. Tattoo wedding is awesome. I actually, um, found a link the other day where, um, they had like a temporary tattoo station instead of wedding favors, um, where there was somebody that would actually like give you a fake tattoo. Um, so that would be kind of a fun thing to do. Um, anyway, I've got a few other ideas. Um, I don't know. Oh, speaking of Halloween, um, fun fact and quite possibly a fundamental flaw in our relationship is that Dustin doesn't really like Halloween. Um, because he's wrong. Um, Halloween is quite possibly, uh, actually is definitely my favorite holiday, which is saying something because I like holidays. Um, yes, I even like it more than Christmas and I freaking love Christmas. So yes, we are going to have an issue with that this year because I will have a little one to deal with and I will not be feeling super Halloween-y, I'm guessing. Um, but I did ask Dustin if he was okay with me starting to decorate early so that I could have a little piece of Halloween before baby comes. Um, and he changed the subject. So, whatever. Maybe not happening. Um, also, I wouldn't be able to clean it up afterwards because I'll have a baby and maybe be in the hospital. So, that would be kind of bad if I just, like... Halloween to everything and then I was like oh you get to clean up this mess that you hate that would be pretty funny too though um anyway so what else what else what else um I like your new puppy friend he seems very affectionate um licking is 
you know, slimy, but it happens. Um, that's a lot like Panda. A little licky and a little pee Um, but yeah, that's cool. I am still a dog person. I will always be a dog person, probably. I like cats, too. I really just like dogs better because they're, you know, your bro. Um, so I hope you have fun in your new, um, temporary living arrangement. Um, that could be stressful, I'm sure, but it won't last forever. Um, and then you'll go back to Florida and then you'll be there till September, you said, which is cool. So that's over a year where you'll be, um, in one place. That's gotta be exciting. Um, you haven't done that actually in a long time like four or five years. Did you realize that? Did you realize you haven't lived in one place for that long? It's a true story. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, I had not considered the fact that you are actually going to be moving to Europe next year. Um, so I'm glad you brought that up. So I will keep that in mind. Um, and actually pre-September is, is probably a good idea because um, Baby Ransom will be big enough to be cute, but not big enough to be running around like a crazy by then, because he will not yet be a year old, he will not be a walking, or that kind of thing. He might be crawly, and that's okay, but we won't have to worry about chasing him all over the place, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, so anyway, I've got to go to work now, it's a big week at work. We have a um, we have a software release this week um, happening this weekend, so I have to work Saturday because of that. But eh, not a big deal. The cool thing about it, though, is that in celebration, they have decided to bring us ice cream. So today there is an ice cream truck coming by to bring us tasty treats. Pretty exciting. Yep. Anyway, you should also have some ice cream because ice cream is delicious things. Oh, one more thing. Good news. Finally got my car fixed. Paid for it today and picked up the key. I haven't actually gotten the car yet because uh, reasons. Um, but it's fixed. Um, I still have to buy some tires for it sometime soon because they're, they're getting a little sketchy, but I can do that later. At least it runs. That's a big deal. It runs. I love you. Um, I hope I get to see you sometime soon-ish. Maybe when you come back through at the end of the month, um, we'll be able to hang out. Give me some extra warning so that we can like plan a thing. Um, obviously that did not happen on your way up because holy crap, there was a lot going on. But yeah, on the way down, we can try to make that happen. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go to work now. I love you. Have a good week. Um, yeah. See you uh, Tuesday? Tuesday.